Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. Not doing a car video today because I didn't go anywhere. Uh, strange times. Very strange times. They tell me not to come to work, but continue to work. Which I do. Yeah. I know a lot of people are in the same boat. A lot of people are in worse boats. Don't want to talk about the, that though. We're, we've talked about it enough, you know. What will be, will be. And uh, we know we're going to be there to, to uh, keep one another strong. I'm in Europe. Smoked this, I think, last Friday on the live stream. And I noticed uh, when I was smoking it that it was getting hotter than I remember it before. And I looked at the bottom afterwards. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, got this really light colored patch here, which wasn't there before. Um, I got inside and poked around and everything, and there's no evidence for burnout, but it's just the, the wall is very thin down there. So I did some pipe mortar work on it. Let me get a flashlight see if I can show you. This never works. Well, maybe you can see down in there. Yeah. So we'll uh, see if we can get some cake warming there to protect that bottom a bit better. And after I'm satisfied that it's okay, I'll go ahead and restain that, try to match the stain. Although this is a pretty complicated. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll be able to match it somehow. But it's just odd that just that one little spot, the stain sort of started to bubble up. I love this pipe. I, I, despite this problem, which is a tiny issue, I would highly recommend recommend these New York pipes. They, they're well engineered, with the exception of the wall thickness on this one, and uh, they smoke very well, and they're relatively inexpensive. Good, good quality, good value. That's the word I was looking for. And uh, this is Haunted Bookshop, of course. And you can hear my dog barking because... Everybody's getting a little on edge. You know, my, my poor wife is not used to me being around as much as I've been around this week. And the dogs are not used to, you know, they're wondering why I'm not going anywhere. And... Uh, it's strange, but at least we're we're healthy. And hopefully we'll stay healthy, but if not, hopefully we'll recover very quickly. and that's that's the way we all should be looking at this. And I said I wasn't going to talk about it, so I'm going to stop right now. You know, when you're... When you're focused on something else and trying to keep the, the, the words flowing, uh, you just go on autopilot and you start talking about whatever's on your mind. That's why I love the drive time videos, because you're getting pure... Uh, you know, whatever happens to be passing through my head, I say it. Just uh, probably not very wise of me, but I find it really therapeutic. And that's why I'm doing this right now. You know, I I didn't think about this. I just turned the camera on and started talking. There's a therapeutic nature to that. And maybe you're getting the short end of the stick there because you poor guys are having to uh, listen to me ramble. But most of the time... You say you like it, so you, you poor, poor folks. <laughs> we need, we need a cure for that. So, we got a box, and I know what's in this. This is not something okay to ship to. That's interesting. Hmm. It, it it has my address on it, but but above the address it says okay to ship to. 
why wouldn't it be? Oh, anyway. I know what this is because something I bought. It's an eBay pipe. With probably the worst cutout receipt I've ever seen. So this is a refurb project. I'm going to knock this one out quickly because, yeah, I got my reasons. But I think this is a really cool pipe. Not a big name. Yeah, I'm just going to wrap it in saran wrap and then put tape around it. Sanitized for my protection, I suppose. But no thank you. I will sanitize it myself. There we go. Now I'm going to have to put on my glasses to be able to tell you what this is actually because I forgot. But uh, there you have it. It's, it's a, it's a, let me back it up some. I think that's a really nice shape. Um, large bowl paneled. So it's actually got a, got some paneling going on there. Uh, but rather elegant shaped otherwise. I, I think it's just a nice balance of the panel, which tends to be a chunky pipe, and, and the sort of nice smooth flowing lines, and you got the saddle bit. I believe it's a filter. Yep. It, oh, it's got a balsa filter in there. Well, be very carefully throwing that away. Let's see what's going on inside here. Oh, it's a clean airway. Drilling looks good. Yeah, nice. I mean, it still needs work. Stem is oxidized. The uh, pipe itself, the stain is awful. Looks like it was dipped in random, random little bits of stain. But that's okay. We'll see what we can do with that. And my old man glasses out. Let's see if I can tell you. Let's see. It is a Seville. Filtro Special. I believe it's Italian made. Hmm. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but the stem is pretty badly oxidized. And somebody apparently tried to clean it, because you can see some like sandpaper marks there, but they just gave up. Um, that's actually in nice shape, though. We'll be able to get this cleaned up. Very well, and I'll uh, I'll show it to you when it's done. It's actually a uh, a gift for someone, so <clears throat> that's why I'm being a little cagey about it. That's the big news for today. Got uh, you know I've been home, well, actually since last so Wednesday of last week was the last day I went to work. So I've been in work for a week now. And I was thinking at first, you know, wow, this is kind of cool. I'll be able to get caught up on my pipe work. Eh. <laughs> just isn't working that way at all. Um, I'm, I'm doing more work working from home than I do when I'm at work. There's no question about it. And I get up most mornings, 6 o'clock. And, uh... One of the first things I'll do is I let the dogs out, I get the coffee going, and then I'll usually check my email. Um, and I'll spend somewhere between 20 minutes and an hour answering emails and just, you know, getting things done that I will have to do when I got to work otherwise. And then I'll usually spend about an hour. Sometimes I'll come down here for an hour because um, I don't have a hard start time most days. Uh, if I can... I can pretty much set my own hours. So I'll come down here for an hour and get some work done uh, if I can, or you know, if there's something else going on that I have to do, I'll do that. And then I, I get off to work, and you know, i got to get there and all that. So there's this break that, that occurs between me checking email and then me actually getting to work and starting work. 
Well, the problem is I don't have that break here. I just keep going from email on. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm working like, I start work at 6 a.m. and next thing I know it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, gee, why am I so tired? It's just a little bit past lunchtime. It's only worked almost a full day now. And, of course, I'm, everything's done by email, and, and everybody's expecting that, it, that it's going to be a 9-to-5 day. Uh, so, yeah, it's got to do a better job of scheduling myself. Why did I bring that up? Oh, because... I was hoping to have more time to get caught up on pipes. Boy, this the smoke's just not moving today. I gotta. I noticed that when um, Saturday, last Saturday, when I did the uh, live stream giveaway, I noticed that the smoke was kind of hanging here. Might have to get a get a fan. I've got a window right there. Actually, it's one. Uh, oh, the dogs are out now. If I open the window while the dogs are out, they think I'm somebody in the side of the yard, and that causes all kinds of problems. So I'll wait until I hear them come in. They're just trying to be good guard dogs. Drinking the champagne of beer. I was on antibiotics for 10 days, and that's done. So this is the first uh, drink I've had in quite a while. Which is not a big deal. I don't drink that much. But it's nice some evenings to be able to unwind. By the way, this is this is late in the day. This is uh, late in the evening. It's, it's uh, close to 9 o'clock now. 9 o'clock? 8 o'clock? Yeah, It's after 8. It's after 7. <laughs> it's been a long day. The other thing I guess I can tell you while we're just sitting here and you're visiting with me is uh, I bought some more of this. This is that 20th anniversary Dark uh, Lake, XX Dark Lake, uh, which is a Cornell and Deal vapor using 18 year old Perique. Um, bought two tins and thought, well, I know the Virginias are young, so I'm just going to keep them, you know, put them in my cell or maybe open them up in five years or so. Um, and then I put in an order and I said, oh, let me get another two tins. And I did, and when they came in, I noticed the numbers on these. Oh, I don't want to put my glasses on again. I can't see the number, but um, they're only making 5,000, and the number was like, Four thousand three hundred and something. And I saw that and I thought, huh. And I'd really like to have a couple more tins of this. Uh, four is nice, but six would be better. So I, I went online to order two more, and they're gone. Uh, so they they sold out of the the five thousand that they made, and good for them. Um, I don't think this is something that they're going to do again, simply because they don't have that eighteen year old Perique. Uh, so now I gotta decide: Do I keep it and wait five years like I was originally planning, or do I crack one open now to try it? Uh, you know, if it was a burly blend, I'd probably be much more tempted. Vapors, I I like them. I just don't have the. Uh, uh oh, what's that? Oh, that's eight o'clock. Okay. okay. It's my daily eight o'clock alarm. I take medication at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., uh, which obviously I'm not too careful about because I'm not going to take it until, until I'm done here. So, now you know what time it is. Glad we cleared that up. Yeah, so you can't buy any more of the uh, the Dark Flake. I think they still had the other stuff available, the stuff that's got the Orientals in it, but I'm not interested in that. Um, I just wanted the straight vapors. Anyway, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to open it. It's going to, it's going to get lost for a while, um, and we'll just see how it is in, in eh, maybe five years. It's funny. I remember a time thinking about cellaring tobacco and thinking, "Wow, if 
five years. Uh, I, you know, should put that away now, and then I'll buy more next year. So this way, every every year I'll be able to open it. And I'm gonna, and now I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to think, gee, five years. That's a large chunk of the rest of my life. <laughs> Do I really want to invest in tobacco for, you know, that far into the future? It's it's funny how your perspective changes as you get older. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I just kicked the tripod. Yeah, funny how your perspective changes as you get older. Uh, but I like getting older. It's, uh, by and large, there's more good things about getting older than there are bad things, at least in my experience. And, you know, the bad things are there, and they'll, they'll come in more and more frequently. But I like that a lot of the the kid stuff is over, you know, the the worrying about appearances and not, not that I'm a slob, not that I want people that I think I should be as but you know, you just you, things just aren't important anymore that used to be super important to me. Um, I don't worry so much about what I say anymore. Uh which is probably not good. Uh, certainly my wife thinks it's not good at times. But <laughs> such is life. Yeah, getting old has its benefits. That's Thatcher. The other one was Isabel, the, the deeper bark. That, that, Thatcher has a bit more of a yap to her, her bark. Uh, although it's easy to, they can get, they can switch back and forth, so sometimes they trick me and I think it's one that's actually the other barking. tell you a funny dog story and I'll let you go. My wife uh, got out the crock pot a couple nights ago and uh, she has this recipe for brisket that is fantastic. She does whatever she does and then it goes in the crock pot for 10 hours. So she sets it up overnight and then when I get up in the morning I, I take it out of the crock pot and set it aside to cool because it has to go in the refrigerator for so, such and such a length of time, and then it's got to go into the oven to, to finish. It's it's very complicated, but it's delicious. Anyway, it smells fantastic when it's cooking, and, and uh, you know, so we got it all set up and went to bed, and the next morning, I, I my alarm goes off, and, you know, I hit the snooze alarm, and then the dog starts barking, which happens quite frequently, and I'm coming down the steps expecting to see the dog at the door, waiting patiently for me to let her out in the yard, what I saw instead was uh, Isabel, who's not the dog in my little avatar thing. That's Thatcher. Isabel was sitting right at the corner of the, the where the two counters meet and the crock pot's up above, staring at the crock pot and barking. <laughs> she must have just uh, had enough of the smell and decided that she wanted brisket now. Uh, it was It was really funny. I've never seen her her do that before. And I love the patience where she was willing to just sit there and wait, but just occasionally bark a few times to, to order that brisket to get into her belly. <laughs> Poor thing didn't get any. Anyway guys, I hope your week is going well and you're surviving all the craziness. We'll have a solo live stream on Friday, so I hope you can you can stop in, spend a little bit of time with me, uh, maybe give me something to talk about, for goodness sake, so I'll tell more dog stories. And beyond that, I think we, uh, we have nothing left to talk about, so I will let you go. Have a great rest of your week. See you on Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Take care of my friends and take care of your friends, your, your friends and family as well. Bye now.